Hello, my name is Jeanette Johnson. I'm the Head of Primary here at BMIS and I've been here for almost six years. It's a beautiful country in the warm heart of Africa. This school is an international school that everyone from around the world comes here and we have six units of inquiry and we have three terms. Each year has three classes that you go in and it's from reception to year six, then you go on to secondary. There are lots of different types of people, all from different places. I would describe it as learn, we learn the key concepts, um, their unit of inquiries and summative assessments instead of exams. We allow the kids to really explore what they're great at. And so even though there are children who may struggle with reading or math or numeracy, they really are able to demonstrate what they know in a number of different ways. And then it's finding a way to support sort of some of the other areas of learning that they may struggle with. Yes, we do PE, art, music, library, and... and this school, you can have fun, you can enjoy learning, you do fun artwork. When we have art, you do Great. You can do music, it's really fun, and in class you can have people to help you. And we have this buddy system for the students. Like, if they don't know their way around, there's a person who can help them and teach them to walk. Here you do like very much group work and very much posters and presenting to the class a lot. And you have more homework, which I think is it's good because you learn more. And I think there's a thing that's called learner profile and there's different things inside that you have to remember like being balanced or b being a risk taker and you can you can you can make your life a little bit better in learning if you if you if you do it if you listen to the learner profile so the attributes and attitudes are like are like profiles which we need to learn to be good students at the school. So like, for example, a risk taker is taking risks, so like taking good risks so you can achieve better things. Because the attributes and um, learner profiles are like, they're like um, a guideline to how we should act in, in the BMIS community. In PYP, it's much more collaborative, it's much more centered on the children's intrinsic motivation of what they'd like to do, guided by the central idea. We're allowed to go into our own aspects and explore into our own ideas instead of like the teachers just standing in the front of the room and us with notebooks and writing everything, every single thing down which they say. The confidence that the children gain very, very quickly um, is just amazing. And then just recently, having had the Year 6 exhibition, you can see how our children are very much uh, putting into practice the learner profile. And they are such good researchers by that age. Now, I have noticed a change in the children. I noticed that in their absolute confidence, in their ability to tackle quite large and uh, difficult topics of inquiry through research inquiry and through using technology which wasn't done much in the past. We now use a lot of technology. Yeah, for research we, we use iPads and computers and laptops. We can use them to do like research on the topic of a summary of assessment or for student questions or like questions we have about our unit of inquiry. For year six, uh, there is a very important event, which is the PYP exhibition. It is a culminating experience of the children's lives uh, after seven years of being in the PYP program. Uh, this year we had our How We Organize Ourselves transdisciplinary theme based uh, exhibition and it was amazing to see so many children inquiring into different issues uh, that were 
relevant to them as well as to uh, their local environment, which is Malawi and where we live. Uh, they talked about animal poaching and about people with disabilities and um, basically so many ideas and so many wonderful inquiries uh, the children took upon them to make lots of action components where they invited other people to come in and see what they learned, what they did, how they went through this process which is a very long uh, 10 week process that we uh, have in school. The exhibition um, is when you get into groups with people who have similar passions and you, um, and you um, work, collaborate, you work together to um, put up a display showing what you've learned and um, how you think um, it should improve in the country. So the exhibition is when you're put into a group with different with people with different abilities and um, you you think of a topic you want to work on for about 10 weeks so my exhibition group thought of working on healthcare in Malawi in the exhibition i learned a lot about time management and how to do my assignments on time and to never leave things until the last minute because that always rushes you. And for next year, I feel a bit more prepared, like to do more research and to become a better researcher for my exhibition. I feel um, like I'm, like they have set a good example. For every unit of inquiry, uh, we sit down and collaborate as a team to think of which learner profile uh, attributes and attitudes we will be using for that unit of inquiry. Uh, it is important that we take into consideration which ones we're working on because this is going to give the children a guide and uh, an understanding uh, of what the unit is about and how they will become lifelong learners. If you're working in a group, which we do a lot, you need to be open-minded and think about how you can work with the other people's ideas because you need to be open-minded and respect their ideas. Yeah, the, this PYP school has helped me a lot on my actions towards other people and helped me um, act with the learner profiles and the attitudes and attributes. We've done like bake, lots of bake sales to bring, to get money for charities and hospitals. So we got some money for a hospital at Namazimu to get water pipes so the um, so they could get water to the to the um, sick people. And we've also given to lots of other charities and the LSPCA. So student council you basically talk about what the school wants and we help other communities um, like the flood victims we give uh, we help them by giving them things and supporting them um, because of our parent body we have contacts with NGOs embassies all kinds of businesses and we we try to um, tap into that as much as we can by asking parents to help us for all the units of inquiry. Um, the PYP programme is quite a different curriculum to other curriculums I've experienced. It gives the children um, a lot of opportunity to explore many different areas. It's really comforting and we don't only learn independently. We learn outside of the classroom, we learn with different people, with different groups. We, we have also after school activities which also helps um, some sports. So you can choose which one you want to do and they're really fun, like they're for different clubs on different subjects. I do lots of different things, so I do cross countries on Mondays, athletics on Tuesdays, girls rounders on Wednesdays and basketball on, on Thursdays. Recently we did a play of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and everybody that signed up for the drama club that we have it as afternoon activities got a part and like acted in some way in the play. Well, it was really, really different for me at first and it was scary because I didn't know anyone in this school. I didn't know what <laughs> PYP was. I didn't know how to use the learner profiles or anything. And it just, it, 
was nerve-wracking because I didn't understand anything. But when year three passed, it really helped me and I really started to have a lot of friends and have fun. You know a lot of people, really kind people, and like the teachers are really good. The sports is like really good as well, and the education, I learned a lot from the school, so I'm really proud of that. The best thing is how, um, the, how we don't just sit there and the teacher tells us all of the work, we get to actually research it. I, I feel like I'm prepared to go to secondary school because I've learned a lot in primary school. Um, our teachers in primary school have made it really fun and interesting and we've learned a lot of things. Uh,